Ladies and gentlemen, on the miniature zebu, we'll be starting that show here momentarily as soon as we have our animals come to the state of Marina. I can tell you that we have 32 animals and 17 or 18 classes. Our judge is from Corsicana, Texas. His name is Christopher Jones. It's my pleasure to introduce and announce his show again this year. I work with him at the National Western and at the Colorado State Fair before. Now, Christopher Jones was raised miniature zebu over seven years. He's shown zebu in parts in Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Florida. He's judged in Texas, Oklahoma, the Colorado State Fair, as I mentioned, and Florida State Fair. Right now, he works as a police officer. He's been doing that for 18 years. My hat's off to you. We love the blue here at the National Western. He is a burglary detective, works with SWAT and on patrol. So don't mess with Christopher Jones. <laughs> but no, thank you for your service. You guys don't get enough credit and thanks. And thank you for taking time to judge our miniature Zebu show, which is brand new this year at the National Western. Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. So I see some Zebus coming in at the far end. We're going to get started with the steers. There'll be three classes of steers. And I'll tell you more about those when we get going. Our first class will be steers 19 to 23 months of age. Single entry, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas, will lead us off. And our judge, Christopher Jones. Hope you enjoy the Zebu show today. First time right here in the state of Marina at the National Western. And we're in a quick picture break, I think. Just about to wrap up for limousine. When we restart the limousine show, it'll be class 19, division one. Class 19 Bulls, Division 1. We got just a moment here. I'd like to thank our state of sponsors. They include Andis, John Deere, Saunders Construction, and Weaver Leather Livestock. Also, I would like to thank LiveAuctions.tv for providing the camera equipment to webcast all of our shows here in the state of Burrito. You can check out the live and archived webcasts for all our shows in the state of Burrito at NationalWestern.com. Also, like to thank Show Champions, the official livestock photographer of the National Western. You can check out the pictures taken in the ring and at the backdrop online at showchampions.com. Looks like we're about ready to restart the limousine side of the show. In the ring, this will be Division I Bulls. Division I Limousine Bulls, first class 19, our judge Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas.
Well, first of all, I want to thank the state of Colorado. I left Texas this morning. It was 37 degrees. I landed in Denver, and it's 70 degrees, so I can appreciate that and thank the National Western Livestock Show for inviting me here to judge the cattle. Uh, we'll start off the steer class here with a single entry. Uh, really nice specimen uh, for a zebu steer. When you walk around the steer, uh, you've seen the angularity that we're looking for. Great breed, breed character about the head and uh, something that you can really look at. Looking at steers and the zebus, people don't think it's a, an edible animal because of size, but it's actually very tasty. You look at this steer standing there, nice width. Uh, when you look at it from the bit, we'll bring him back for the, for the champion go. Congratulations. On the miniature zebu, open show. Results on our first class steers, 19 to 23 months of age. First place, 68.55, Dusty. Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. Up next, our second class has two entries. Steers, two to three years of age. Entry 68.56, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. 68.57, Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Second class coming to the ring next for Steers, Miniature Zebu. All right, now second, second class of Zebu Steers, we're gonna place them just like they stand with this young man being one and the young lady in the white shirt being two. I'm gonna place one over two, mainly for the angularity that we're looking at. We're looking at general appearance of the animal. He's more angular, he's got a little bit uh, stronger top line uh, than the steer that's gonna be standing behind him. He will yield to the breed character about the hair for the smaller steer. It's really a good example of what the head should look like. Uh, one thing to, to point out when we're showing steers in the, in the Zebu world, so to speak, manageability of the, of the steer uh, accounts for 25 points on a scorecard. So uh, for the exhibitors who are going to show steers in the show ring, you know, take that into account. 25 points goes a long way uh, when we're showing steers in the Zebus. Thank you. As we start the limousine bull show, uh, an excellent class to start off with. Three really good uh, May calves. We start with the youngest calf in the class. Uh, the red bull is really complete. I like his skeleton, the way he can get out and go. He's got some shape to his rib. He's got some muscle shape. He's really eye appealing in his makeup. Uh, really, his only disadvantage today is his age. Uh, he's the youngest one out here, uh, but really a complete calf with uh, some extra look. Uh, and he wins his class with the advantage he has in structure. The, heifer, the bull in second, I think on the stand, he's the most impressive in terms of some shape and some rib and some look. 
uh, a nicely presented kind of complete bull, uh, one that bothers me a little when we get him in motion. He wants to get outside of himself a little bit on his hind wheels, like to change that about him, uh, but really exciting in terms of the rib and the muscularity that he has. Long-bodied, clean-made bull coming in, in third and still a really good individual, a little straighter in, in his joints uh, in terms of his hock and his shoulder, uh, but really eye-appealing. He's got some shape when you get behind him. Uh, a nice class of bulls. Uh, really in good in terms of quality from end to end. Catches up on results here on the miniature Zebu. Steers two to three years of age. First place 68.57. JJ Shiloh J. Jeanette Magnuson Eaton, Colorado. 68.56 was second. Slinging Dirt JWS five card stud William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. And then it was the one Grant was showing. Grant was second. All right, here on the Zebu side of the of the show ring, we've got a young cowgirl here that walked her steer in and. One of the spectators on the side over here says this is exactly what the stock show is all about, and I couldn't agree with her more. Uh, we can get young people involved in showing animals at a, at a, a young age, and uh, this is the, the future of, of the stock show right here, the young lady. Uh, we're definitely going to bring her steer back. When you look at him, uh, exceptional headpiece uh, for the breed as far as breed standards go. You want that convex profile when you view it from the side. Exceptional set of horns on them. Uh, he's not holding his head up high enough to really see, but when he walks into the ring, you can see he carries his head up high uh, like he should. Nice feet and legs. Might want to whip him out a little bit when you look at him from the rear. Uh, other than that, definitely a, a steer that we'll bring back in for the, for the champion go around. Congratulations, young lady. On the manager, Zebu, first place steers four years and older, 68-58, Fancher, Love Ranch, Kenya, Caleb, Sarah Rummel, Bennett, Colorado. Up next for the Zebu, we'll move to Junior Bulls. Three classes of Junior Bulls. Back over on our limousine side, the results on class 19. First place, 4764, LFL, Emperor, 7050 EET, Bruce Lawrence, Anton, Texas. Second, 4767, JCL Extra Special, 710E, JCL Land and Cattle, Welch, Oklahoma. Third, 4765, WFL Everready, Spencer Wilder, Schnook, Texas. The scratch was 4769. Let's go down to Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. Results on class 20. On the limousine bull side, uh, a not really excellent individual in this class, uh, one that could sure stand more competition. Uh, just that good combination we're looking for with some muscle and some rib, calf that's really flexible and gets out and go. You get him out on the profile, he's clean fronted and strong top, nicely designed through his hip and hind leg. Uh, just a really complete kind of a calf. If you want to nitpick him, you might like to clean up his sheath just a little bit, uh, but an excellent calf that's very complete. I think one that'll be very interesting when he comes back in this division. Here's the results of the limousine side for class 20. First place, 4774. JCL Night Train, Jaden, 712E. JCL Land and Cattle. Jaden Linthicum, Welch, Oklahoma. The scratch of the class was 47.73. Next to the ring for limousine with our judge Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. This will be class 21. Just ahead of our Division I limousine championship.
All right, we're looking at a pretty good set of Zebu steers over here. I think you can see the uh, the difference in the, the, the cattle that, that the Zebu uh, breed will give you. We've got a little bit bigger on one end, and then it's a little bit smaller down on the other side. In uh, the steers with the Zebu, the, the height requirement goes away. For it to be a, a miniature Zebu, it has to be 42 inches or below. Uh, the steers, uh, they seem to grow uh, a little bit over that after they're, after they're cut. Uh, so we'll, we'll excuse that uh, for the breed standard. Uh, I'm going to look at the, at the steers one more time as I walk around them. There's, there's definitely some positives in, uh, that we can look at from each of them. We'll walk around them one more time. We'll come back and pick our winner. My apologies in the ring at this time. This is your champion steer selection with our judge, Christopher Jones. Of course, again, at Texas, those divisions aren't in your programs, but we'll have a championship after each division. Your attention, please, in the state of Marina and in the barn, any pickups or vehicles that are parked on the west side of the cattle barns need to be moved immediately or they'll be towed. Any pickups or vehicles parked on the west side of the cattle barn need to have your vehicles moved immediately or they'll be towed. Thank you. We're going to use our big red steer here for our winner, uh, grand champion for our Zebu. I think when you walk around him, I think a couple things set him apart, but the most important thing is his head. And when we're breeding uh, Zebus for our breed characteristic, if you look at the head on this steer, he just really, really puts it out there for you. One of the finest ones that you might see at the show today. Also, as you walk around him, he carries his width throughout all the way down the top line for his general appearance. Uh, the nicest set of feet and legs uh, of the steers that we have here. Uh, congratulations, young lady. And I'm going to use this gray steer here on the end uh, for our reserve grand, uh, basically for the same amount of reason, just a little bit uh, finer uh, when it comes about the head uh, than, the, than the gentleman that has the, the darker gray steer. A nicer uh, out on the move for the little light-colored gray steer here, and we'll have to go with the breed character about the head uh, to move him over the one that's in the middle. Congratulations. Here's the results on the Miniature Zebu Steer Championship. Your champion comes from steers four years and older, 6858 Fancher Love Ranch, Kenya Caleb, Sarah Rummel, Bennett, Colorado. Your reserve out of the 19 to 23 month old, 6855 Dusty, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. Now we'll get to the Junior Bulls. We have three classes of Junior Bulls. First entry, single entry, Junior Bulls zero to six months. That is William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. They have to have time to switch animals.
Uh, excellent class on the limousine bulls side. Uh, definitely the deepest class uh, we've had as we start rolling into these limousine bulls. Uh, really uh, four, three excellent bulls and they all have advantages relative to the class. Uh, but I think the one of the most of the best is a calf that wins. Uh, one that again is a nice combination. He's got some muscle, he's got some rib, he's got some length of body, some length of front. He's good in terms of his feet and legs. Uh, maybe if you want to criticize him, maybe not perfect in his fore rib, um, but it's still a good calf that, that just has that combination of things make him the most of the best. The calf in second is really good in his rib shape and his body, excellent up through his fore rib. He's got some bone and some foot, and he's sound in his makeup. He doesn't have as much muscle as the calf that wins the class, and to me that's the difference. Maybe not quite as ultra clean in the upper part of his throat, uh, but very correct, really good in his rib, nicely designed through his hip, just doesn't have quite the muscularity of the bull ahead of him. The calf in third I like a lot about. He's the most muscular bull in the class. He's got a lot of shape in his top and his quarter. Uh, he's a calf that I think is sound enough when he goes. He gets a little tighter behind his shoulder. He gets a little lower in his pin set as we compare him to the other two bulls. Maybe he wants to twist his front feet out just a little bit. But if you want some moderation and some muscle, he's definitely got those things. A lot of quality in all three bulls. If I could have your attention on the uh, Zebu side of the ring, we have a three-week-old bull calf uh, that our exhibitors brought into the ring. And I'll tell you from looking at them, it, it, we're looking, uh, when we judge the Zebu, it's balance and proportion relative to size. So it doesn't matter if they're a three-week-old baby or a five-year-old bull that we're looking at. We're going to judge them all the same. Uh, minus a, a hump that an older bull might have, the, the, the little bull right here really carries everything out really well. Uh, when you get from uh, the rear of him and look at him, he's about as nice as one that you're going to find in the ring. Great feet and legs on this little bull calf. Let's see how he does when he gets some older competition in here. Congratulations. Catches up on results. Miniature Zebu, Junior Bull, 0-6 to six months, first place, 68-59. JWS Prince Augustus, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Up next for the Miniature Zebu, two entries for Junior Bull, 7-12 to 12 months. Results on the limousine side. As we are judging, our judge is judging the Division I championship for the division. Result on Class 21, first place 47-77. HWCB, Eye of the Storm, 406E, Cameron Bryant, McMinnville, Tennessee. Second place 47-75, JCL Fireball, LN, LM, 708E, JCL Land and Cattle, Linden, Linthicum, Welch, Oklahoma. Third 47, excuse me, third 47-78. Kalo Escobar, 309 EET, C. Cole Abel, El Dorado Springs, Missouri. Scratch in the class was 4776. In your programs, the placings are two, scratch, one, three. As I mentioned in the ring, this is Division I Limousine Championship. First and seconds back in the ring from classes 19, 20, and 21. Our judge is Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. On the limousine side, our first division of bulls. Uh, again, the quality has continued through the show. Uh, nice calves all the way through the classes, and three nice individuals out here to represent. Uh, youngest calf uh, in the whole show from the first class, but really an interesting one. Uh, that's sound. He's nicely balanced. He's got some shape to his rib. He's adequate in his muscle shape. Uh, one that, that today is a little disadvantaged by his age, but I think down the road uh, a calf that could be very, very competitive, and I think he's good enough. Uh, you still have to look at him out here today. Uh, Bull from a second class, uh, another one that's very complete. Uh, he's got some added length of body and some rib. Uh, he's sound enough in his makeup. He's long enough and clean enough. Uh, he's probably adequate in terms of muscle. I don't know if he has as much muscle as uh, maybe the bull directly behind him, but he's sure adequate in that regard. Uh, another nice individual to represent that class. The bull that won the last class and a class that we said was very deep in terms of quality, three really good bulls, uh, a nice combination when you talk about length and rib and muscle and soundness. Uh, to me, he puts those three things together very well. 
uh, like we said in class, maybe not perfect in his fore rib, uh, but he's not bad. And I think with his soundness and the look and the power that he has, uh, just with those advantages, I think he wins this today, division today, uh, and he'll be the champion of Division One. We'll bring out the second place bull and evaluate him before we pick the reserve. All right, we have a couple of different types of, of uh, bulls over here. I think they're, how old is this one, man? How old is, this one? How old is he? So we have an eight-month-old bull and a red bull and a nine-month-old bull and a little black and white bull, and I think you can see a lot of uh, variations about the type. We're going to use a little red bull for first place. If you look at him, he's deeper in the heart girth, deeper in the flank. Uh, you can really tell the difference when you stand behind him. He carries his width all the way throughout. Maybe like to move that hump back a little bit. Uh, might be creeping up on his neck, but they'll, they'll come out of that a little bit as they get a little bit older. Uh, the, the little black and white bull, I like the middle third of him more than I like the front or the rear of him. These bulls are, are, gonna, are gonna change a little bit as they get to a year, 18 months, mature at three years old. And when you bring them back in here in three years, you won't ever know the, that one's one and the other's the other. They really change uh, that much throughout their uh, uh, lifespan as they go, but we'll use the Red Bull for first place and the Black White one for second. Congratulations to you both. All right, we got us a little dirt kicker cowboy in here, a three-year-old young man here, brought his two-year-old bull, almost a two-year-old bull in. Uh, I, I think both of them are doing a great job. The little bull calf has pretty good hump development for its age, uh, you, as far as the general appearance goes, smooth sibling as well. You get behind him, he carries good width of the escutcheon. When you look at him, what we're talking about is the, the width behind the, look at him in the legs, you kind of a little circular area there. Carries that out, uh, starting to get his testicular development about him about this age, so that's nice to see in the young bull. We'll bring him back uh, for the champion drive. Congratulations, young man. A nice pair of February bulls. Maybe some give and take in terms of advantages relative to the class. Uh, the bull that wins the class, uh, obviously, he's really stout made. He's big boned. He's heavy muscled. He's got some rib shape and some doing ability. High performing calf with, uh, that's still very moderate in terms of his frame size. Really eye appealing when you get him out on the profile. Probably if we were to knock a hole in him, he gets a little straight on that front end. Uh, gets outside of himself a little on the go. We'd like to change that, and I think that's where the second bull has an advantage. Uh, but with his advantages and rib and muscularity, uh, I think he's the calf to win the class. 
Kaffin second is long bodied and I think he is slightly better in terms of, of structure and movement. Uh, he's got some muscle shape when you get behind him. He's not as heavy structured, and big footed and big boned as our class winner, not quite as big and bold in his rib, uh, but still some good things in his calf with some length of body and some muscle when you get him behind him. Need to catch up on results, I apologize. Trying to make sure we had the championship right on the limousine. Division one limousine champion, 4777, Eye of the Storm, Cameron Bryant, McMinnville, Tennessee. The question was on reserve. The reserve, 4774, JCL Night Train, JCL Land and Cattle, Jade Linthicum, Welch, Oklahoma. That last class, 22, first place, 4784, LMCC Paramount, 37E, Colt Schrader, Beggs, Oklahoma, second, 4780. JFAF El Patron 749E Francine Limousine Marshfield Wisconsin in the ring at this time class 23 two entries our last class in division two with our judge Dave Allen Schulenberg Texas real quick here let's catch us up on the miniature zebus if I got a moment here junior bulls seven to twelve months first place 6861 GWS Easy Street Blackjack William Hughes Pueblo Colorado second 6860 Maxwell Minis Bartholomew Robin Condor, Elizabeth, Colorado. Junior Bull, 19 and 24 months. First place, 68-62. Eddie McAlfee, J.C. Lance, Brush, Colorado. This is your Junior Bull Division Championship in the ring with your judge, Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. All right, for our uh, Zebu uh, bull calves, we have from three weeks, eight months, and going on two years old. I think you can see uh, the change in the development of the of the bulls as they as they progress, and we really have trade-offs for for uh, for each of them. As I as I look them over, really to me, the the small bull calf in the in the in the set here has the best set of feet and legs that that any of them have. It's hard to use a small calf like that when we're looking at some bigger ones because we're looking at depth of body, we're looking at width, um, masculinity, uh, hump size, uh, dewlap, and all that when it really comes to it. But as far as something that you're looking for in the future, uh, especially when you're putting on your cat on your cows and going to breed calves, feet and legs goes a long way in the in the zebu breed as far as any cattle go when it comes into the show ring. Getting to the two bigger bulls, uh, they have trade-offs when you're looking at angularity. Uh, smoothness of blending, um, the, the body capacity and all, they, they really have, have trade-offs for each. Uh, so it's, it's difficult to, to judge them when, they're, when you're six of one and five of this on this one and, and vice versa on the other. I think the bull that we're going to have to use as far as masculinity, uh, he carries more width and has more angularity. Uh, when you look at him from the back as a little black bull here is going to be your champion. I think the hump, the hump placement uh, might be the settling factor on him, testicular development, but he's a little bit older, uh, but he carries his width a little bit uh, further out. Not as deep as the Red Bull that's going to be my reserve champion, uh, but overall I think the hump placement and the width, at, uh, at width of the escutcheon that you look at the Black Bull, he's going to be the champion and reserve champion to go to the Red Bull. Congratulations to you both.
on the limousine side, a real nice class of junior bull calves, two high quality individuals, a real meat and potatoes calf to win, tremendously stout. Boy, he's got muscle, he's got body, he's got some bone and foot, a really nice combination. One that, that has the things you need to sell commercial bulls, he's got a good set of testicles, yet he's still very eye appealing when you get him out on the profile holds himself together very well. If we're gonna do anything to change him, maybe smooth him up just a little bit at the point of his shoulder. A really attractive bull in second that's really good in his structure. He's long in his stride, he's good in his top line, he's long in his side. He doesn't have the mass and power of our class winner in terms of rib and width and muscularity, uh, but he still has a lot of quality in terms of his profile and really good in terms of his movement. There's results on our limousine, class 23, the final class in this division two. First place, 4788, MRRC, legal, 441 EET, Madison Ratliff, Westphalia, Kansas. Second place, 4787, LVLS, Equinox, 811E, Lonely Valley Limousine, Creston, Nebraska. Up next, first and seconds back in the ring for the division two limousine championship. Our judge once again, Dave Allen from Schulenburg, Texas. Over on the miniature Zebu, on your Junior Bull Division Championship, your champion comes out of the 19 to 24 month class, 68-62, Eddie McAlfee, J.C. Lance, Brush, Colorado. Your reserve champion, Junior Bull, 68-61, J.W.S. Easy Street, Blackjack, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Up next, we move to the Senior Bull Division. We have two classes in that senior bull division. Our first class has three entries. These are two to three years of age. Our judge once again, Christopher Jones from Corsicana, Texas. All right, bringing in our senior bulls now on the Zebu side. We can kind of see the, the progression that we have from a three-week-old. These, uh, these bulls in the ring are two to three years old. Uh, different size, different types uh, of bulls that we have in the ring here. You can kind of see the uh, masculinity starting to show. You can see the testicular development that they were looking for, horn development. Uh, even in the, in the smaller bull that's in the ring here, nice horn development for this little guy. I think we want to place them just like they stand, using the young man as first here. I think when you walk around this bull, you really kind of get what we're starting to look for in the masculinity. The, the hump position on this bull is really nice. His head set, uh, the neck set a little bit low uh, for what you're going to be, if you're going to get picky about him, uh, and, and that's what it is. But when you stand behind the bull, you really like the conditioning as far as body conditioning. They had the young man's done a really good job of feeding this bull up and getting him ready to walk into the ring. Uh, the young lady in the black shirt we use for second place just doesn't stand the back third uh, uh, to the bull that we put in front of him. He kind of, we want that slope of rump a little bit, but I think he's a little too long from hook to pins, uh, and he doesn't carry as much depth in that rear flank as the bull that we use for first place. Little red bull here, I think, as you can say the same thing, not as much depth in that, in that back third. Uh, he, he, he's beautiful head on this bull calf right here. 
Uh, you really like to see that as far as when you go into your breeding program because it means so much. And I'd like to see some females come out of this bull in a couple years. If he can carry that trade on to him, I think you'll be doing a really good job. Congratulations to you all. In our second division, the limousine bulls, uh, two nice classes of four good bulls to represent. Uh, our two class winners are, are similar in some regards in terms of they're both big volume, heavy muscled, heavy structured kind of bulls that still have some look. I think though when, when you get down to it, uh, the bull that won the second class has a decided advantage in terms of his structure when you set him in motion, uh, along with the fact he's a little bit longer in his overall skeleton. Uh, but two really nice class winners. And then we have two good second place bulls that are long in their side and sound in their structure, just not as big in their rib and, and stout in terms of their moan and the bone and their muscle. Uh, but four good bulls to represent. The bull that wins the second class, uh, I like him extremely well. He'll win this division. The bull that won the first class will be reserved. Catch us up on, oops, oh, he's not ready yet. Catch us up on results, Miniature Zebu. Senior Bull, two to three years of age. First place, 68-65, JJ Red Velvet Chip J. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Second place was 68-64, JJ Ray J. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Third place, 68-63, Harmony Heights Tough. Pat De Niro. In the ring with our judge, Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas, senior bull, five years and older. After this class, we'll have our senior bull division championship and then the champion challenge bull class. Here's results on Division II Limousine Championship. Champion 4788 MRRC Legal 441 EET Madison Ratliff, Westphalia, Kansas. Reserve, that was out of Class 23. Reserve comes from Class 22 4784 LMCC Paramount 37E. Colt Schrader begs Oklahoma. Up next, we'll go to Class 24A. We had to make a change in the program. This will be Class 24A. Two in this class. And then we have a class 24B and then division four championship, I believe. This will be division as well. Okay. There's only one. A uh, single entry in this class and this division, but an excellent bull to represent. Uh, again, we talk about that combination of performance with some rib and some muscularity, some length of body, really clean in his makeup and nice in his lines. You know, and maybe when he gets out on the go, he could go just a little freer off both ends of his skeleton. Uh, but that's nitpicking a bull that sure has got some body and some stoutness. Uh, nice bull to represent this division. All right, we move into the, the senior side of our uh, Zebu uh, bull, bull show here. We got, uh, we're got showing the top probably right where we're going to be as far as size goes in our Zebu bulls and the, and, the, and the red bull here and then a medium, medium frame uh, bull inside. You can see the difference in the horns. Uh, we, we, we judge the horns as very small. The, we want them you know, like the oval shape. They can be flat out. Some turn down. Some come up. It doesn't really matter as long as the shape is what we're looking for. And they're symmetrical, which I think you can tell on these two bulls that they do a pretty good job of that. We're going to use a red bull right here in the front uh, to be your first place bull. I think when you walk around him, you have a more of a complete package. Uh, standing straighter on his feet and legs. Uh, the little gray bull here uh, is standing down in his pasture, so it's kind of making him track out a little bit. Uh, not as well as I think he could if his feet were trimmed a little bit. Uh, uh, I really like the hump size on this bull. I think as far as the balance proportion relative size that we're looking for, I think he carries a uh, more correct hump than the bull does in the front of him. But the overall package length and, and depth that we're looking for when we're looking at the bulls, so I think we're going to use the bull, uh, uh, the bigger red bull as your first place, and the young lady here as your second place bull. Congratulations to you both.
On the miniature Zebu, here's the results. Senior Bull, five years and older. First place, 68-66. Fanshire Love Ranch, Caesar. William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Second place, 68-67. Fanshire Love Ranch, Lucky. Sarah Rell, Bennett, Colorado. In the ring is the Senior Bull Division Championship. We're tr still trying to sort out the limousine results, so bear with us. Boy, a really impressive pair of bulls here in the limousine side uh, represent the late spring yearling class. Uh, lots of quality in both these bulls. The calf that wins the class is long and deep and bold sprung, and he's got some shape. He's very, very sound. He's eye appealing. You watch him walk, and he really handles his top line well. Uh, just one that's very complete. Yes, he has that extra performance and rib shape. Uh, just an excellent calf to win the class. The bull in second. Uh, does have an advantage. He's more muscular as you read him down through his stifle. Uh, I like the way his neck comes high out of his shoulder. Uh, he's one that can get out and go. He doesn't have as much rib shape, especially through his forerib and flank as our class winner, but he does have a shot more muscle, and he gives up just a little bit of performance, but still, he's very eye appealing. He's muscular. He's sound. Uh, two excellent bulls in this class. All right, we're going to look at our grand champion reserve, grand champion Zebu Bull, and when we compare these two side by side, uh, even though they're a little bit different type, they really score out on the cards pretty evenly. Uh, obviously, one bull's a little bit bigger. He's going to carry a little bit more mass, have a little bit more masculinity uh, than, the, than the younger, uh, lighter red bull here. Um, I, I, like the, I like the width of both of them. I like the depth of both of them. Uh, one thing that's going to set one apart from the other is general appearance. When you look down the sides of these bulls, uh, this little boy here has a little bit more fade in the point of elbow that we're looking for. Maybe not as deep in the rear flank as what we're looking for, but he has more angularity than the, than the bigger bull in front. This bull is going to carry more masculinity, showing more dewlap, uh, which is a, a, a breed characteristic of the bull that we're looking for. So it's, it's, it's a really, really good pairing, even though you're looking at different size and, and, and different shapes of the bull. I think the one we're going to have to use for the champion is going to be the big bull here. I think the masculinity that he carries out the, is a little bit more uh, than the bull, uh, the, the smaller bull beside him. Uh, I do like the, the depth a little bit more here. I like the headset on this one. I think when we put all everything, everything together, the big bull is going to be your champion. And this will be your reserve grant. Congratulations to you both. We're going to catch up on limousine results here, do the best we can for class 24, single entry, and that was also your division four limousine champion, 4797, JYF Deadhead, 296D, J Yorga Farms Limited, Flintoft, Saskatchewan, Canada. Then we had in your programs 4799 that was in class 25 should actually be in that class 24B. So 4798 and 4799 showed that last class. The results of class 24B, that's what we're going to call it. First place, 4798, Mags deserves better. Magnus Lannan, Cattle Plantville, Colorado. And 4799 was second, WFL. DeAndre, 617D, Jace Wilder, Snook, Texas. And in the ring at this time should be class 25, two entries, class 25. Then we'll have class 26 and then our division five championship.
Real quick here on the miniature Zebu. In the ring at this time is the champion challenge bull. I'll try to tell you about that in just a moment. But here's the results of that senior bull division. First of all, your senior bull, five year older. First place, 68 66, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Second, 68 67, Sarah Romo, Bennett, Colorado. And your division champion was 68 66, Fancher Love Ranch Caesar, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Reserve was out of the senior bull first class, 68 65, JJ Red Velvet Chip J, Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. And in the ring, we have our champion challenge, Bulls, and they're competing against Bubblicious, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. All right, we got our junior champion, our senior champion, and our challenge bull. Our challenge bull has to have at least four grand champions to be entered into here. So the great bull in here, uh, on the end here, is one of minimum of four grand champions to be able to come into the champion drive in this class. Uh, again, we've got a little bit different of bulls here from a coming two-year-old. I think bull here in the middle is five or six, maybe. And the bull on the end here is probably about the same age, four-year-old bull. Uh, so a little bit different setting here. Uh, if you look at the great bull, we haven't talked about him yet. Nice, nice round rump. That's something that we're looking for. Nice slope of rump. Uh, looking at the roundness, maybe a little bit too heavy in that brisket. Uh, not as deep in the rear flank as he is in the front flank, but overall, pretty nice conditioned bull. Excellent hump uh, when we look at that bull, nice setting. Our senior bull champion here that we talked about a little bit, we'll touch on him again. Real masculine bull when you look at him and get on the side. Again, a nice hump, nice hump placement. Uh, nice top line, probably the best top line that we're going to look at. A little bull here may be a little overpowered today, but we'll talk about him. Nice hump placement when we look down the side of him. He's really nice, pretty angler when you look at the front third more than the back third. I think when we look at our overall champion bull day, we're going to use this gentleman right here in the middle to be your champion for the day. Congratulations to you all. Oh, on the limousine side, uh, another really exciting class. Uh, only two bulls out here, but... Two very high quality individuals, uh, a lot of good in both these bulls. A bull that wins the class to me is just more complete and he has a slight advantage in terms of his structure. He's got a slight advantage in terms of muscle. Uh, I like his up fronted bull. He's really stout and shapely down in his stifle. He's really good on his feet and legs. He's a little shorter in his side, but yet he's long in his neck and long in his hip. Uh, he holds himself together very well, and I think just a complete individual to win the class. The bull in second is longer in his body, and he's very nicely designed on the profile, and I like that about him. He's got some bone, and he's got some foot. When he comes at you, he gets a little wide in his chest floor and wants to twist those feet in just a little bit, and that's probably the biggest difference between the two bulls in structure, uh, and I like that advantage in length, but he gives up just a little bit in terms of shape and muscle when you get down low. Uh, great pair of bulls, just some give and take between the two. Here's the results on the limousine side for class 25. Remember, 47.99 moved up to that 24B class. So first place, 4801, LFL Deluxe Edition, 6029 DET, Bruce Lawrence, Anton, Texas. Second place in Class 25, 4800, STLX Double Down, 613D, Stone Limousine, Mason City, Illinois. Up next, the single entry here, Class 26, our last class within Division 5. Class 26, our Judge Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. Back over the miniature Zebus when we resume there, we'll get to the results on that uh, grand champion bull selection. Your champion challenge bull was first, 68-68, Bubblicious, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. So that was your champion challenge bull. So up next, when they reload the animals, it'll be junior heifers. We have four classes of junior heifers on miniature zebu. Judge, once again, Christopher Jones, of course, again at Texas. A 
Oh boy, another awesome bull in this division. Uh, we're going to have a really good lineup when we bring him back out here in just a second. Uh, just huge bone and huge footed, plenty of body, plenty of muscle. Bull balances up really nice when we get him out on the profile. That's maybe break just a little bit behind his shoulder, uh, but an excellent individual and one that represents this class very well. Uh, really be interesting when we get him back out here. I think we're going to have an excellent division. Here's a result on class 26, first place 4802 ELCX, King's Landing 599 DET, White Valley Ranch, Weiss Limousine, Edwards, Colorado. In the ring, this will be Division 5 Limousine Championship, first and seconds back in the ring from class 24B, 25, and 26. After this Division 5 Championship, we have three single entry classes. They're going to bring them all in. So they'll have individual classes, and we'll pick the Division Seven Limousine Champion. And then the Grand Champion Drive. Then we'll be announcing the Premier Breeder and Premier Exhibitor and Supreme Champion Limousine Female Selection for the 2018 National Western Stock Show. So right now, this is your Division Five Championship with our judge, Dave Allen, from Schulenburg, Texas. Boy, uh, if you breed limousine cattle, you should really be proud of this division because the five bulls that were in it are all out here, and they're all really good. Uh, a lot of quality in all five of these individuals. Uh, bull from the first class, a boy, he's a high-performance one. He's got length and depth, uh, extremely sound. Boy, he can get out and motor. Awesome the way he holds his top line and his hip, yet he's really good at the ground. Uh, but just great in his fore rib and his flank with some spring and shape when you get behind him. He's good in terms of his muscle and his bone, but he's not extreme. Uh, maybe not as extreme as some other ones out here, but he's sure adequate. Uh, but really impressive to have that much rib and volume and balance uh, and move as well as he does. The most muscular bull is the bull from class two. He's huge down in his stifle. 
yet he can get out and travel, and it's really impressive when you set him in motion for a bull with that much shape and expression to go like he does. He's long, and I like the way his neck comes out of his shoulder. He's really good in terms of foot and bone. He's not as long as the bull directly ahead of him or, or quite as extreme in his depth, but he's still good in his body. Uh, maybe just gives up a little length of side to the bulls either side of him, uh, but really impressive in terms of his muscle and his soundness and the look that he has. And then a, a nice complete bull from class three. He's got some foot, some bone, some body. Uh, he's adequate muscled. As we said in class, maybe he just breaks just a little bit behind his shoulder, uh, but a good individual that's tremendously big footed and, and very complete. So I think three really good bulls and depending on what you want in your program uh, you could justify using them whether it's in the show ring or, or in your AI tank a uh, lot of quality and, and all these bulls these two bulls standing in second are extremely good in terms of their structure and their look uh, just some small subtle differences why I like these bulls better uh, but congratulations to everyone I know this is just a division but it's very impressive uh, I think great set of cattle in these five bulls Back over the limousine side, Division 5, your limousine champion is 4798 out of Class 24B. 4798, Mags deserve better. Magnus Land and Cattle, Platteville, Colorado. Reserve champion for Division 5, 4801. Comes out of Class 25, LFL Deluxe Edition, 6029 DET, Bruce Lawrence, Anton, Texas. Up next, we'll have three separate classes in our final division, seven. Three separate classes, class 27, 28, and 29. They're all coming in together. They all get their individual placings for their classes, but this is also gonna be your division seven limousine drive. Your champion for the division out of these three classes. After this, our grand champion limousine bull selection, then we'll announce the premier breeder, premier exhibitor, and supreme champion limousine female. We're back underway on a miniature Zebu in the ring, junior heifers. We have four classes of junior heifers. This first class is junior heifers, never freshened, four to under eight months of age. Our judge, once again, Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. All right, our first class of Zebu heifers in here. I think we can start the class off with the, the two that I really appreciate the most. I think we're going to use the lighter heifer here to win the class. Uh, when you look at her overall length, uh, the depth that she carries out, again, we're looking at balance and proportion relative to the size of the animal. I think the one that carries in second place here is a little lengthy in the leg for now. Her body hasn't quite caught up to her yet. The, little, the, the younger gray, or the, the lighter gray heifer uh, really exhibits a lot of breed character about the head. Uh, the two over three uh, heifer that we're looking at is going to be depth of body. Uh, she's going to carry a little bit more depth, especially to that front third, maybe that front uh, two-thirds than the little lighter red cat that we're using uh, for third place. 
Uh, these two here, I guess you could probably swap them either way. I don't want to have one uh, mad over the other. They're, they're really alike. I, I don't know if they got the same sire or whatever it is. They really uh, carry the same body top and body frame right now. A uh, little bit better head on the one here than we have on the second is going to be our difference between the, the two that bring up the class. Congratulations to you all. Junior Heifer, manager Zebu, four to under eight months of age. First place, 68-72, J.J. Ray Lay, J. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Second, 68-71, J.J. McPhee, J. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Third, 68-73, J.J. Rello, J.J. Rello, I'll get it right. J.J. Yellow Rose, J. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Fourth place, 68-70, J.J. Cherry Twist, J. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Fifth place, 68-69, J.J. Anna, J. Guess what? Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Program placings, five, four, two, one, three. Up next, four entries, Junior Heifer, never freshened, eight to under 12 months of age. On the, lim on the limousine side, uh, this is the last division, and all the three of these bulls were single entries in their classes, and due to the problems this morning and the, the time of the day, uh, we're going to bring them all out at once and just pick our division uh, but three excellent individuals, Bull from the fall, senior yearling class is long, and he's got a lot of shape. He's really clean in his makeup. If we were to change him, maybe in terms of his structure, he just gets a little straight in his shoulder, a little tighter in his pastor, and we set him in motion. Uh, but impressive in terms of the performance, the length, and the shape that he has. The bull from the younger two-year-old class, uh, the black bull is, is neat to look at. Boy, his neck comes out of his shoulder. He's got some depth and some shape to his rib. Really nice in terms of his hip and hind leg design. A bull that's sound when he gets out and goes. Uh, maybe one that gets a little coarser in terms of his shoulder if we were to change him. Maybe just like to strengthen him in his fore rib just a little bit. Uh, but an excellent individual. Very impressive when you get him out here. And the red bull from the older two-year-old class. Uh, really a unique individual to be that streamlined and clean made yet he still has the body and the natural thickness big boned and good footed real good set of testicles with good shape uh, very impressive when you get him out here on the profile very very impressive in terms of the way he's presented as well just an individual that's a little unique and different has some extra power and some extra look so i think three really good bulls i think the red bull is pretty elite He'll be the champion in this division. Uh, the bull from class two will be reserved. Congratulations. I'm gonna start this class of heifers off with the, with the gray heifer in front. Uh, I really like the length of body that she has. She has real good length of rump. When you look at the zebu, they've got that natural slope of rump. That's part of their breed character about them. Uh, it helps when they're calving. Uh, they don't have that straight down back that you're going to see in the European breeds. Uh, nothing wrong with that. These guys, just, uh, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, their calves go between 12 to 18 pounds. So when we get on the smaller side of our females, uh, that natural slope of rump really helps them calve. Also, the nicest head and neck set in the class. Uh, so she'll be our winner. The little red heifer here will come in second. Uh, again, for just for length of body and a little bit more to her. Uh, she's a little leggy. I think as she gets a little bit more age to her, she'll come out of that and get a little bit more uh, depth in that rear flank. The two calves coming up uh, in, in the end of the class here are just a little overpowered today. Uh, maybe get a little bit more covering on them, get some more fleshing in them, and uh, they'll come along on their way. Uh, congratulations to you all. Over on the limousine side, here's your Division 7 limousine champion. It's 4806 out of Class 29, Schilling Civil War ET, over Miller Cattle Smith Center, Kansas. The reserve champion for the limousine, Division 7. 4805 out of Class 28, Rockin' P. Tom Tom, 702C, Renee Poole, Windyville, Missouri. Up next, we'll bring back the champion reserves from all of our divisions. This will be your grand champion limousine bull selection with our judge, Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas.
His results on Junior Heifer Miniature Zebu, 8 to under 12 months of age. First place, 6877 Jingle Bill. Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. Second, 6876 Diamond D Farms, JW's Royal Red Duchess, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Third, 6875 The Quinn Ranch Raven, Pat Denero, Denver, Colorado. Fourth, 6874 Diamond D Farms, Penny. Pat De Niro, Denver, Colorado. In the ring with our judge, Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. Junior Heifer, single entry, never freshened, 18 to under 12, 24 months of age. All right, single entry here on the uh, female Zebu. Uh, really nice uh, body. When you look at uh, body capacity on this heifer, she really carries nice length of body, good depth uh, through the chest floor. She carries it all the way back. Uh, good width through that top line, too. It'll be really interesting to see how she does against the other heifers uh, coming back in. Congratulations, sir. Russell Junior Heifer, Miniature Zebu, 18 under 24 months of age, first place, 68.78. JWS, call her Lady Luck, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Up next is single entry, Junior Heifer, 24 to under 30 months of age, never fresh in single entry. Our judge for our limousine show today, Dave, for the Medal of Excellence limousine show, Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas, graduated Texas A&M University, graduate work at Michigan State University. He grew up on a small pure red cow calf and row crop operation in Nebraska. Currently, he owns and operates Bar A Cattle Company and Gin Source, a semen distribution company. He's been attending the National Western Stock Show since the 1970s as a spectator, as an exhibitor, and as a judge. And he says... The National Western Stock Show is his favorite livestock show in the nation to judge. How about a hand for our judge of the limousine show, Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. Grand Champion Limousine Bull announcement coming up soon. All right, another single entry in our female zebus. Again, a really nice specimen for the breed. Uh, great length of body. She carries her depth all the way throughout. Maybe the nicest head of one of the females that we've seen come in. Uh, she has that nice uh, exotic profile when you look at her. Nice coffin shape. When you look at her from the front, congratulations. We'll see her come back in. Real quick here. Miniature Zebu, first place. Junior Heifer, never freshened. 24 to under 30 months of age. First place, 68-79. The Quinn Ranch Sweet Pea. Pat De Niro, Denver, Colorado. Up next, Junior Heifer Division Championship. And tell you what, uh, I know it's getting late and it's been a long day and you guys had a rough start this morning uh, with the power and all, but boy, it's been really, really impressive in the limousine show in terms of the quality. Uh, I've been coming to the stock show for a long time, uh, since the 70s, and shown a lot of cattle out here over the years, and uh, you know, we, I showed a lot of limousine cattle here 15, 20 years ago, and we were fortunate to have some success, and, and they just keep getting better and better in terms of the quality, and my hat's off to the breeders. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to the Limousine Association and the National Western for asking me to be out here. Uh, it's pretty humbling uh, for a skinny kid from Nebraska that started out showing 4-H cattle a long, long time ago uh, to get the opportunity to come out here and sort uh, this quality of cattle and the quality breeders. Uh, it's just my hat's off to everyone involved uh, on a great production and a great show. There's no better show than the National Western in my mind. Uh, there's a lot of good shows around the country, but the, the real cattlemen come here with the great ones, uh, and it, it, it happens every year, and I think it will forever. It, it's the place here in the States uh, to bring the good ones, and it's an honor to be here and sort through them. Uh, the cattle that we've got out here, I think like the Heifer Show, I'm, I'm very pleased. Uh, when I'm sorting cattle, I like them to be sound. Uh, I like them to have some rib and performance and muscle. Uh, maybe a little more muscle and stoutness in these bulls than what I like in the heifers. Uh, but yet I still like them to have some show ring look and eye appeal. So I think, I think these bulls do that. Uh, again, it's been long and I'll let y'all get to moving. I'm sure you want to get somewhere and get something to eat. But congratulations to everyone involved. Uh, great show today. We'll pick two champions and uh, 
be safe on the way home. God bless y'all. Those comments from our judge, Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. Well, we're going to pick our champion heifer for the day in the Zebu class. Uh, I think our youngest uh, heifer is here, and we're working back towards our oldest. Uh, we've talked about all of them a little bit. I think if we look down the line here, we can kind of see what we're shooting for. Uh, all of them have nice length of body, good depth of body. Uh, the little bit more uh, angularity is a difference than what we're going to look at here. Uh, it, it's, it's very important. Uh, the, the Zebu are very angular. They're very athletic. Uh, uh, animal, they walk up stairs, walk up and down hills, they can, they can do a bunch of different variety of things. Uh, I think the one that's going to set it apart from, from the rest of them, just as the overall package, I think it really comes down to the nice length of body, uh, nice slope of rump, and carry more angularity than the rest of them and have a little bit more femininity. These are females that need to be a little bit feminine. We'll go to the young lady right here with the little white speckled calf. I think when you look at her, she really carries everything uh, in, in the top of the class. Congratulations. Your grand champion limousine bull for the 2018 National Western Stock Show is 47.98. Mags deserve better. Magnus Land and Cattle. How about it for Platteville, Colorado? Platteville, Colorado. Magnus Land and Cattle. That'll move 48.01 into consideration for reserve grand. I right, bring the second place in uh, from the champion class. I think we talked about this red heifer here a little bit. She's nice and, and long, and she needs to have a little bit more uh, depth of body. I think for our reserve champion, we're going to the young lady right here in the pink shirt. I think the, the breed character about the head of this, this heifer goes a long way. She's a little bit more angler uh, between the two up here on the top end, more angularity throughout the rear, uh, and has a nice little set of uh, back legs than the other one. Congratulations, ma'am. The reserve grand champion limousine bull for 2018 National Western Stock Show comes to the same division as your grand champion. That's 4801 LFL Deluxe Edition 6029AT Bruce Lawrence, Anton, Texas. Congratulations to all of our limousine participants. We'll get the premier breeder, premier exhibitor announcements in a few moments and the supreme champion limousine female. Once again, thanks to Dave Allen, Schulenburg, Texas. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your work today. We'll catch you up on miniature zebra results here in just a second. All right, we're moving into our senior cow division here on the Zebu side of the, of the ring. Uh, we can start seeing as the, they start getting older, they get a little deeper, they get a little wider, which is nice. Uh, one thing I want to compliment this female about is her memory system. When you get behind her and get beside her, you can really see I think she's got a calf on her side. She's got nice quarters to her udder. Uh, in milk, a Zebu cow give about a gallon of milk a day. 
so for the people that are homesteading, they, they use that to their advantage. A uh, really nice cow, a uh, good breed, breed character about the head, and we'd love to see her back for the champion drive. Congratulations. Catch up on results of the miniature Zebu. Go back to that uh, Junior Heifer Division Championship. Your champion, 6877, Jingle Bell. Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. The reserve champion, 6878. That is JWS, call her Lady Luck. William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Then your senior cow, that first class senior cow is just there, under three years of age, first place 6880. Francher Love Ranch, JWS Queen of Hearts, William Hughes, Pueblo, Colorado. Up next, three entries in the senior cow, second class. These are animals three to four, three to under four years of age. Three entries, once again, our judge Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, special announcement for our limousine show. Your premier breeder for 2018 National Western Stock Show, Lawrence Family Limousine. Your premier exhibitor for 2018 National Western Stock Show, Lawrence Family Limousine. Congratulations to the Lawrence family. One more announcement to wrap up our limousine show. Your supreme champion limousine female, Macy Ratliff. Congratulations. Thanks to the staff, the exhibitors, the parents, the families, and all of our board members here. Limousine, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Sorry for the uh, delayed start, but thank you guys very much for exhibiting the National Western. All right, we're moving one age class up. I think uh, three to four year, four to, four to five year old cows here. We're gonna use a young lady in the, uh, in the blue and green uh, cow here to start off, man. Just a really pretty head on this female. She's nice and long, nice slope of rump. Uh, again, from hook to pin, she's just really, really, really deep right there. We appreciate that about her. Not as deep in the back third as she is in the front third. The brisket set nice and tight in there in the chest floor. Uh, just a really good job. Very, very nice feminine female. We're gonna use the red cow here uh, for second place in the class. I think the back third on this cow just really overdoes the, the, the gray one that's in the front. Uh, I'll, I'll give a yield a little bit to the, the front, the depth of the front of the animal, but uh, overall the red one's gonna do it for me today, second, and then the gray one will be third. Congratulations to you all. Here's the results on senior cows, fresh in three to four, three to under four years of age. You think I did it once, I wouldn't do it a second time, but I did. First place, 6881, Robbins Little Critter Ranch Cheyenne. Robin Condor, Elizabeth, Colorado. Second place, 6882, Lady Luck. Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Third, 6883, JJ Elsa J, Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. In the ring at this time with our judge, Christopher Jones from Corsicana, Texas. This is senior cows. Uh, single entry here, really nice example of what we're looking for. Uh, probably the, the longest and deepest female that we've had today. Uh, really feminine in the head. Uh, might not be a square on the rear end as one that we've seen in the, in the ring uh, so far today, but definitely something that's going to come back and give everybody a run for the money. Congratulations.
There's a result on senior cows, four to under five years of age on the miniature Zebu. First place, 68.85. Bailey's Summer Star, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. Scratched in the class of the program, 68.84. Up next, our final class, senior cows. Then we'll have our senior cow division championship. So have this class, Senior Count, Division Championship, and I believe a Grand Champion drive yet to go in the Miniature Zebu Show. Christopher Jones is our judge from Corsicana, Texas. All right, another single entry here in the Zebu uh, females. Now one that's going to carry a lot of depth through their front third. Uh, she loses a little bit in the, in the rear for me. Uh, not as strong as her pastors uh, that we've seen on some of the other females that have come in the ring. Really nice feminine uh, front, front end here with her head and her neck set going into her hump. Congratulations. We'll bring her back. First place ribbon there. Result on senior cows, six years and older. First place, 68-86, Red Velvet, Jeanette Magnuson, Eaton, Colorado. Up next, we'll bring back those first and seconds for the senior cows. They'll be competing against each other for the division, and then we'll have our grand drive. A little more information about our judge, Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. He's raised miniature Zebu over seven years, shown Zebu in several parts of the country, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Florida. He's judged in Texas, Oklahoma, the Florida State Fair, and even in Pueblo at the Cobb State Fair. He is a police officer right now for 18 years. He's a burglary detective, works on the SWAT and in patrol, and his favorite part about the livestock industry is getting the youth involved in showing. Once again, our judge, and thank you for your service, Christopher Jones, Corsicana, Texas. Okay, our champion drive here for our, our, our female cow, man, and this is the, this is the hardest part for, a, for a, a livestock judge when you put, a, put some females in here like this and you just go, okay, everybody wins, but I don't think that's the way this goes. We'll start with our, our youngest uh, heifer, or I'm sorry, our youngest cow here on the end. We talked about her memory system, and again, I'll point it out, it's really, really nice. Divides evenly throughout her quarters. It's nice and symmetrical. Uh, it's not as going to be as big as what you see in some of your bigger breeds, but it doesn't need to. The calf that this uh, cow is going to have is going to be in that 12 to 15, 18 pound range. Still, she's going to give out about a gallon of milk a day, so it's plenty to raise a nice calf on. Uh, the gray one that's going to be in front of her, uh, we really like the length of this cow, the, the length and, di and strength of her top line. Uh, not, as, not as fancy in that back third as she is in the front third. But that's just kind of getting picky about her. Uh, hate to do that, but, but when they're all really, really close together, you've got to say some good things and some things that we might change a little bit. Same thing with this lighter brown or red heifer or cow that we have here. 
Uh, I think she's a little bit better in her back third than she might be in her front third. But again, when we look at the length and the depth of her, the nice roundness of that rump, I mean, the best back third of anything that you're going to look at. Tracks out really nice. Uh, might, might change that front third, get a little bit more uh, uh, width in that, in that wither or in the, uh, the chine and loin area. Uh, the, the red female here that's going to be the oldest cow in the class, she's showing her age a little bit, not quite as strong on her feet and legs. Uh, as the other three that are going to be uh, standing behind her here. But overall, the depth in that front third and, and, the, and the body capacity that she carries, you really can't complain too much about them. Uh, let's give our, our first place winners for our cows a round of applause. This, this red cow here is our, is our overall champion. I think she just, the, the strength and power of that, of that back third just really sets her off. I mean, it's really, really close between these two. These are the ones I'm picking from. But when I look at the overall depth of the flank and the, and the roundness of her rump, uh, I, I have to go with her just for overall general appearance statute. Uh, beautiful head on this female here. Uh, I hope you have a lot of calves, and I hope they're all heifers and they look just like her. Congratulations. There's results on the Senior Cow Division Championship. The champion 6885, Bailey Summerstar, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. And I believe this is where the junior shows against the senior for the grand champion selection to round out our show. Once again, our judge, Chris Jones, Corsicana, Texas. The Ash Western Stock Show staff would like to welcome all Zebu exhibitors and thank you for coming to the inaugural show this year. And we look forward to continuing to work with everyone for years to come. This will be our final class. Go ahead, Chris. Well, I want to say thanks again to the National Western Livestock Show for having me. Uh, it's, it's been a great experience, even though the, the warm weather here, I'm, I'm happy to have that. I'll go back to the 30-degree weather tomorrow at home in, in Texas. So that's kind of weird, but we'll go with that. Uh, we're going to pick our overall female for the day. We're going to use the female here, uh, the, red, the red older cow. I think she just really puts it all together. She's very feminine, her front third, very, very nice round uh, back third, carries her depth, carries her width and length all about her. Really nice specimen for the breed. Congratulations. So your grand champion female miniature Zebu comes out of that Cedar Cow Division, 6885, Bailey Summerstar, Laura Day, Spring Branch, Texas. Thank you once again to Chris Jones, Corsicana, Texas. We got some paperwork for you to sign before you leave. Appreciate your work and your service once again as a police officer. Very, very appreciated. That'll wrap up our cattle shows. They got them upstairs. That'll wrap up the cattle shows in here. They got to take pictures. We're going to clear the arena. And then we've got the goat tying, the goat roping.